PSA are currently doing a bulk deal on PSA submissions. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my cards that I'm going to be submitting as well as some of your guys that you've sent to me to submit for you. So let's have a look at all the cards we're submitting. So as you can see in front of me today, guys, I have three piles of Pokemon cards. Well, I say Pokemon, there's an Akora card right there, which we'll get to in a bit. But this is my pile of cards. This is another pile of uh, Noughts who is sending some cards. And then this is also Ian who is sending me his cards. So we're going to go through them one by one of each pile and uh, we're going to start off with my pile first and i'm going to be showing you the cards that i'm submitting so let's zoom in and the first card i'm going to be submitting is a mew prime now mew is my second favorite pokemon um, and i do really love the prime cards just from how unique they are with the kind of border and the kind of really jagged i don't know what you call it just jagged border as well um, in terms of condition it's not um, it's not like super bad i don't think it would get a 10 if i remember rightly there is a bit of a ding in this corner right here but some of these cards that i'm grading i just thought do you know what on bulk level i would just love to have these encased in a slab um so i definitely just wanted to get them graded for my personal collection obviously mew is my second favorite pokemon up next is this amazing pop series 5 mew I really want to get this in a hollow. I absolutely love this card. Um, and I love that it's a fire type as well. Obviously, fire types, one of my favorite types, being uh, Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. Anyway, moving on is a Ho Oh Full Art from Breakpoint, I believe, um, which is also a nice card. Once again, I don't think it's going to get a 10. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's not going to get a 10. But still, I just saw it at a bulk service. Um, it's just nice to have them graded. So I thought, why not, as it's quite a low price at the moment. But anyway. Up next is a Ho-Oh from Call of Legends. I actually got this from a, um, uh, a collection I purchased quite a while ago. Um, so I'm very happy to send this one off. So we'll put that one there. Um, another one from the same collection was the SL uh, Ho-Oh from Call of Legends as well. One of my favorite type of cards. Just love how much it sparkles um, with the border. And it's also shiny as well. So it's just an incredible, incredible card. As you can see, we've got a bit of a Ho-Oh theme going on at the moment. I do love Ho-Oh and Lugia. Um, and this is Ho-Oh from Secret Wonders, um, one of my favorite sets of all times. Um, some incredible cards in that set. And uh, this was actually gifted to me um, from Chris, uh, Pokey Chris UK. So shout out to you, my friend. Um, I want to get this graded just because it was just an awesome gift from you. Um, so a big, big thank you for that. Next up is a legend card, um, the Ho-Oh from um, the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. And what way to complete it by going for the bottom half as well. As you can see, these legend cards came in two halves. And when you got them both, um, it makes one big picture. So we've got a massive Ho-Oh right here. And I don't know if you can see the swell on the Fire Emblem. This just looks awesome. I would love if PSA in the future could do a slab case where you could have it like that in one slab. I think that would be awesome. Just love those type of cards. I think they're very unique and I just want to get them encased in a slab. Up next is my favorite AR card um, from Platinum Arceus. We have the AR7. We pulled this a few times. Um, and I've actually been gifted this from Kerry as well um, in the future as well. In the future, in the past. So um, I always love getting this card. So I'm going to get that one graded as well. Um, we have some more ARs. I do want to get a complete AR subset. Um, so this is Arceus. This is AR1, um, which is really cool. I mean, look at his eyes, like super red. I think that just looks, looks awesome. Next up, we have the AR3. Uh, is that AR3? AR8, sorry. We have the AR8 right here, which also looks incredible. We pulled a few of them. Um, and I do want to do a um, Arceus, uh, Platinum Arceus box break at some point on my channel for the live stream. That would be awesome. Next up, we have the Articuno Secret Rare from Supreme Victors. Another one of my favorite sets. Absolutely love this card. Just look, just looks so sick. So I um, want to get that one graded. Then we have the Moltres from the same set, which is another Secret Rare which also looks really, really cool. Here is the back if you guys want to see it. Um, that's something on the, um, that's not on the card, that's on the semi-rigid, but still pretty decent condition. I don't know if it will get a 10, but i um, very happy with the condition that I want to get it graded. Up next, we have another Legends card of Rayquaza and Deoxys. Look how crazy that looks together. I just want to get these slabs because I just think they're very unique cards. I just think they're so sick. Um, so yeah, there is the image right there. And let me know in the comment section, guys, um, what your favorite card is that you've seen in today's video. Um, and also, would you guys grade any of your cards? Is there any cards you're looking to grade seeing as PSA have opened up bulk service now? We have a Soikun and Entei legend card right here. I always think that the Entei 
looks like the abominable snowman from Shrek, I think it was. No, Monster Inc. It was Monster Inc. I don't know, something about the mouth. It looks like the abominable snowman. Uh, let me know if you agree in the comment section. But I still think that that is an epic card right there. So that is, or epic two cards there, sorry. Uh, then we have a Ho-Oh EX from Black and White Era. Um, this card looks awesome. I love Ho-Oh. I don't think it's in the best of condition. As you can see, the centering is very off. Um, and there's also a nick in this corner right here. But still, I just think it's a beautiful card. And who knows, maybe um, I will give it away if, if I decide to in the future. Or just keep it in my collection. Um, or even potentially if someone's looking to purchase it, maybe sell it. But yeah, here is another card right here, which is a fire uh, energy card. This just looks awesome. I would just love to have this encased. Um, I just think that's very unique and awesome at the same time. We also have a Quilava um, Reverse Hollow from Unseen Forces, the EX era. Look how beautiful that artwork is. Very, very, very nice. There is the back if you guys want to have a look at that as well. Um, but I still think the artwork of that is super, super nice. Next up, we have um, some still sleeved promos. This is the Detective Pikachu. This actually came with the DVD when you purchased Detective Pikachu. Um, I will be opening this up um, because if you actually get these graded still in the sleeves, they get put in a bigger um, case and I, I'm not a massive fan of that. So I will be opening it up. We then get a Pikachu promo, which I don't know what this is from. I can't remember what I got it from. I think it was a chest, like a collector's chest at some point. But I just think this is an awesome Pikachu card. I just think that's so sick. So I want to get that graded. Uh, up next, we have two of the Champions Path Charizard. The most graded Charizard card, if not most graded card. I think there's like over 60,000. So I just want to get these graded um, just to add to that tally, <laughs> I guess. Um, but also just because I think it's a really nice full art, full art of Charizard. Then we're moving on to some more uh, recent cards. We have the Sleeping Pikachu from Lost Origin, the Trainer Gallery. I just love the artwork of that card. Um, we have a Charizard from the Trainer Gallery of Lost Origin as well. Um, and then another one of each also. So I'm just going to hopefully get 10s with those. Um, and if I get 9s, then I'll, I'll probably sell the 9s. Then we get the Gengar, which is another really big card from the Lost Origin in the Trainer Gallery. The Gold Mew, I pulled so many times that um, I decided to see if we can get a 10 on one of those. Obviously, as I mentioned, Mew is my second favorite Pokemon, so I'd love to own one of those cards in a 10. We have the Pikachu Zekrom um, Black Star promo um, from the Sun and Moon era, which is really, really cool. Thought I'd get that graded. I actually bought that in, in Prague when I picked up the number one trophy card um, with Poke Chloe, so that was really cool. My favorite Pikachu from the Lost Origin Trainer Gallery. I don't know if this will get a 10, but I just wanted to uh, get this graded because it just is such an epic card. Then I have a Mewtwo or Mega Mewtwo EX from Breakthrough. Then my last few cards, I have an Infernape Level X, which I love Level X cards. I think they look absolutely insane. I think they're so cool. Another Infernape Level X. And then to finish it off for my collection before moving on to Noughts is the Rayquaza Level X from Supreme Victors. Such an epic card. So they are all of my cards. We're now going to move on to Noughts cards, which um, he has a really, really nice selection of cards. We're just going to fly through these. Um, he's gone for a Typhlosion T17 from Neo Genesis. This is unlimited. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Neo Genesis box break very, very soon before the end of 2022 with Chloe. Um, so very much hoping we can pull this um, live on stream. I feel there's like a swirl here trying to happen. It's a very big swirl. Also looks like an eye, but still very cool nevertheless. So we have that. Um, these are some cards that Nort pulled on my live streams when we did a uh, Hidden Fates opening. He got the Ho-Oh GX, which is one of my favorite from um, Hidden Fates. Also, another favorite is the Greninja GX. Um, in my opinion, they fall slightly behind the Charizard, but still some really cool full arts nevertheless. Then we have a Charizard and Brexen um, from Cosmic Eclipse, which is a very, very cool card. He has a Charizard from base set, which looks pretty cool on the front. It's a little bit beaten up on the back. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, whitening on the corners. Um, but Nort said to me that he's always wanted to just have a base set Charizard in a slab. 
um, because like myself, his favorite Pokemon is Charizard. And that's understandable because sometimes you just want to get them in a slab um, as they are more nostalgic and more hold, hold more of a memory than you are looking to get to um, preserve like value and stuff like that. So up next, we have a legendary collection Alakazam. Now, you may think this is base set. Now, I don't know if you can see this little badge here. That means that it's from Legendary Collection, which is essentially base set um, three, I guess some people like to call it. Um, but it's very cool. This way you get the amazing reverse hollows. Then we have a Dragonite V-Star from Pokemon Go. This is a rainbow rare. Um, the Probably one of the coolest cards from Pokemon Go, the Mewtwo V-Star. I'm pretty sure he pulled these all live on stream. Um, so yeah, this one is a really, really nice card to be fair. I love Mewtwo, as you guys know. Uh, my third favorite Pokemon. So I have absolute respect for that one. Then we have a Rainbow Rare Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff GX from um, Cosmic Eclipse. This is a beautiful card, so very, very cool to see that one get graded. Up next, apologies if you can hear some banging as well. Um, there's some there's some building work going on, but we have a Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends. Really, really cool card. Love the Shining Pokemon, so that's really cool to see. Then we have some big cards right here. This is a Blaine's Charizard from Gym Challenge, and um, he actually took this, broke this out of a slab, which was um, a seven. And in my opinion, it looks really, really, well, his opinion as well, he, it looks really clean. He did send this to me and I did have a look through it and it might be a little bit harder to see while it's in a semi-rigid. There is a slight imprint in this corner. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what this comes back as. So hopefully it comes back a really high grade or better than a seven, which he purchased it in. Um, but still, the front and everything else, the centering looks good. The surface looks amazing. It's just whether it goes through with this mark in this corner. Because, I mean, look at the corners. The corners look fine. So that is going to be interesting to see what that comes back as. Then we have the Shining Fates, uh, Shiny Charizard VMAX. Centering looks really, really good on this. Um, so hopefully that can come back a high grade also. More vintage. We have a hollow dark Charizard. Look at the hollow pattern on that. That is amazing that is so so cool um so yeah we have a dark charizard the there's a bit of whitening on the corners um up here and up top but um hopefully it will still get a relatively high grade we'll have to wait and see then we have a celebrations charizard which looks awesome very cool i only pulled that twice for myself which is good uh we have a radiant charizard to finish noughts off as well from the pokemon go and once again the centering on that looks really decent and there's no marks on the back also so hopefully that will come back a 10 so they are all or there's all of noughts cards and finally moving on to the final pile um this is ian uh, he sent me a load of cards. As you can see, we've got a nice little pile here um, and some really, really nice cards. I've actually had a look through these and they're epic. So we have a Frost Fangs from the set or the TCG um, Acora. I think he said there's only five of these ever made. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, it's a sample uh, right here on the bottom. I'm pretty sure he said there's only five of these cards made. So that's really interesting. We then have a Full Art Pikachu V from Vivid Voltage. Really, really cool card there. Um, so very, very nice to see that. We have a Charizard V-Star from Brilliant Stars. Another Greninja, this time Ian's though, from Hidden Fates, which is awesome. We've got a lot of Hidden Fates cards here, but it looks like we have an Espeon Shiny uh, GX from Hidden Fates also. Love that card. Shout out to everyone who loves the Evolutions. I know we got a lot of EV fans in uh, the channel. Uh, so we have a Mewtwo from Hidden Fates as well. Shiny, which looks epic. Absolutely love that. Now we got some really cool cards, which I've never packed myself. So it's really cool to hold these. We have the Galarian Articuno Alt Art, um, which looks absolutely awesome. From Chilling Rain, I've said it before, I've said it recently in streams. I think Chilling Rain is going to be one of those sets people slightly start to come back to to hunt for these cards because they are so cool. This is the uh, All Art Galarian Zapdos V, which I like to call the Roadrunner. And yeah, like I said, Chilling Rain has some beautiful, beautiful cards. Moving on, we have the Flareon V Max from the Evolution uh, Premium Collection box as alongside the V. Um, and we also have the Vaporeon V and the Vaporeon V Max. Another Greninja GX from Hidden Fates. We got also another Mewtwo. His luck seems to be doing pretty well with the Hidden Fates by the looks of it. We have a Leafeon GX from Hidden Fates. A Sylveon GX. And what would it be without the Umbreon GX as well? Love that one. That's probably my favorite out of the Evolutions from Hidden Fates. 
But not only that, we are submitting a Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. The shiny Charizard itself. Absolutely beautiful card right there. So we're going to be submitting that one for Ian. We have a Japanese Umbreon GX from Hidden Fates. Another all art. We have a Celebi V from Chilling Rain. Look at that card. That is beautiful. Shout out to Pokemon for absolutely smashing it with all the all arts. And we keep going with the all arts. We have the Moltres V from Chilling Rain. This is probably the best uh, all art you can get in Chilling Rain. Look how amazing it is with the moon in the background. Absolutely stunning card right there. We got the Rayquaza VMAX from Evolving Skies. I actually got this come, uh, returned to me uh, from grading. Mine came back a PSA 9, so hopefully this one comes better, uh, comes back better, or if not a 9 as well. And then we have a Evolutions Charizard, which is really hard to get in a 10. So hopefully this comes back a 10. I'm looking at the centering. It's slightly thinner on the right, but who knows? It may make it through and get a 10 we'll have to wait and see when these come back and i will be doing a returns video guys when these uh, all come back and we can have a look at what grades these get we get another celebrations charizard up next after that we have the jolteon v which is awesome reminds me of supersonic speeding around in the city once again guys if you can hear uh, building work i really apologize uh, we have the jolteon v max as well and then a very old card we have the ancient mew from uh literally back in the day when the movie came out so that is an awesome card to see i actually still have one of those sealed which i'm gonna get um sent off which would be awesome we have the skylar from shining fates full art trainer and then we have some special delivery charizard cards which uh came out not too long ago so that is number two right there then we have an Umbreon V All Art from Evolving Skies. I've never pulled this card, but it is starting to go up in price from what I've seen, which is awesome. And then the last five cards, we have a Japanese All Art Moltres from Chilling Rain. We have a Arceus Alt Art from Brilliant Stars in Japanese. And we also get two Charizard V Maxes from Darkness Ablaze. Some really cool cards right there. And finally, to finish it off, we have a, another Pikachu V Full Art uh, from Vivid Voltage. So there it is guys. Be sure to like the video subscribe Check out some of my previous PSA videos right here, and I'll see you next time. Peace